Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is Gossip by Craig Petty. Before we do that, can you please like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com, have a look at it. It's really good. Don't take my word for it. Have a look what other people say. Just go to cardmagiccourse.com. We've just had a live session and it was very lovely fun. Fun was had by all, probably, hopefully. Um, and they're every week, the live sessions. That'd be good. Talking about live sessions, we have live videos here every Thursday, UK time at five o'clock. They used to be Monday and Thursdays, but it got a bit much. <laughs> so at the moment, they're every Thursday, but it might change. Uh, so keep an eye on the... Um, on the things, which means, uh, which is helpful when you subscribe, that you click the notifications button, if I can get my words out, or if you've already subscribed, make sure you click the notifications icon, the little bell, so you do get um, messages saying when I can't go live and stuff. This goes well, doesn't it? I can't, can't get my words out today. That's what I can't get, get out. So this is a uh, something I wasn't sure about when I first saw it. Well, when I first received it, because I, I, I watched the, um, the download and I first thought I liked the effect, but I thought, is it the sort of thing I'm going to do? And I wasn't sure of the method. And when I watched the original performance, I was thinking, well, is, that, is that just, has he, he got away with it there? Has he, has he had to do less kind of fishing and stuff like that? Well, actually not. And now I really, really like it because I've performed it and actually learned it and, and taken it out and done it which was really uh, scary because, you know, it's just been locked down. I haven't done much magic live. I've done it on Zoom and, and it's been quite exciting to sort of take something that, that isn't a trick that I'd usually do, the kind of trick I'd usually do, and do it and see the responses it's been getting. So this is the thing. There is a, I've got a performance video and it was, you know, just filmed on a phone um, and it's the first time I'd, I'd ever done it. So, you know, it was um, the first ever performance. This, I just ripped this out of a crappy magazine and my mate's got a news agent and he said, do you want it? And I was like, why would I? But I thought maybe I can make something out of it. And that's what magicians do. They take useless stuff and do stuff with it. Um, so a, it's kind of one of these list things. There's 10 different lists, one to 10. And within each list, there's 10 celebrities, right? So can you uh, do me a favor? Think of a number, take that. Give, think of a number between one and 10. Yeah. I've uh, got a number in your head. I don't want to know it. Um, is it an odd number? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just so you don't f think of the same number, you take you think of a number that's an even number. So I don't know, don't know what it is. Take the odd number and look at the number. That, is it, are you all right for a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the number and look at the not the number on the list, but the list number. So look, you got that list? Mm -hmm. All right, and um, show Brendan what the list is. And your number. Look at the number on that list and find a celebrity that, told, that was with that number, right? And just so you know, look at that same number on every list. It doesn't, there's a couple of, it, it's, there's not the same person on every number, is there? Right. So you've got a celebrity in your head, basically. Yeah, let me just, let me just check which one it was. Yeah, yeah. Check your number. Yeah. And that number, there's no way I can know this. So go back, you've got 100 names on that list, 10 lists. You've got a celebrity, you came up with a number list, I don't know what number it was. And if you saw a picture of that celebrity now, would you recognize him? All right, um, yeah. So just think about the first name, right? Think you're, looking at, you're looking at a cinema screen, you're looking at the first name. If, if that was in light, what color would that name be? Just, light. Yeah, light. just think of any color of light. White, all right? So I'm thinking that means it's a male celebrity, yeah? So you've got a male celebrity in your head. And the first name, just think of the first name. Is it quite a short first name, yeah? Very short, but three letters, all right? So you've got a three letter first name, there's no way I can know this. I've got a picture in my pocket. Would you be impressed if I pulled out a picture of that celebrity? I'd buy, I'd buy you for yeah, you're just magicians. Right? So, <laughs> got, so here we go. I don't know what the celebrity is yet, but there it is, there's the celebrity. It's quite an early picture. I'm only, I'm only joking. What was the celebrity? Tom Cruise. And there's Tom Cruise. Yeah. Yeah. That's nightmares, isn't it? And the trick is, which you'll see anyway, but um, you have 10 lists on a magazine, a bit of magazine, like one of these sort of glossy rubbish um, magazines. And well, that, that's subjective. You might enjoy these magazines. So sorry to be judgmental there, but I, I, I don't. <laughs> but, but it's great. So you've got um, 
this list, best looking men, best looking women, all that kind of stuff. And you have 10 people on each list. And you say to someone with two people, you say, right, you choose a number between one and 10. You get someone else to choose another number. And basically you go through the whole thing and you get the name they're thinking of. But it's, I thought it was going to be, I thought there were going to be maybe loads of ways of doing it and some were more laborious than others. It isn't. It's what, there's one way of doing this. Well, there's many ways of doing it, but there's one kind of method. And it's really deceptive. It's really good. And the way, what you get here is you get, I think, three uh, of the magazine pages, which is the same, um, and you get the baby gag card. So this is a classic gag in Magic, the baby gag, obviously, that you've, they've got the celebrity, name of the celebrity in their head. You say, would you be impressed if I got a picture out of my pocket and it was that celebrity? And they go, yeah. And you got the, and they name it and you turn it around and they've said Tom, uh, Brad Pitt or something. And you go, there you go, Brad Pitt. They think you're hilarious because it's clearly a baby. It could be anyone. And then you turn it over and it's Brad Pitt. And there's loads of gags you can do with it and loads of stuff that they go through in the download. But you don't have to do it with a baby gag. And that's important because for some reason, I can never, you see in the download, I never get that baby gag to get. Like, I know people that do it and people are howling. I can't do it very well. I've never really rehearsed it or done it really. Um, but it's even if it doesn't get a laugh, it's still a nice thing. And it, they feel like, you yeah, know, whatever and you turn it round and it's there. So don't worry too much if you don't get a massive laugh with it. I still think it's a nice way of doing it. But I also think a nice way of doing it is just to say the name or write it, on, or write it down. And they've got a Zoom version on the download, um, which does it in a completely different way with a deck of cards, which is fine, but I do prefer this version quite a lot. And it's, it's actually a really good version Peter Nardi does. It's still really completely fooling. And it's great, but he's also got a great version where he uh, does it differently with, by drawing with, a, with another drawing. It's kind of like the baby gag, but it's his version. I don't want to give it away, but it's really, really funny and really nice. So there's lots of different ways of doing this. The point is that they are given a bit of paper. They're asked to think of these numbers. You never know what those numbers are, importantly. Then nobody says the numbers or anything. They get to that celebrity, and it is really amazing that you've asked very few questions and you get to the celebrity. No, no, those of you that know about fishing, there is a bit of fishing, but it's, it's again, very um, intuitive. It kind of, I was thinking, I'm not going to remember this, but when you start doing it, you realise actually it's really super simple and you, you're really sure you are, you have got to that name. So you're not doing that sort of leap of faith when you, oh, they could say something else. You kind of know you're there before you turn the card over. And that's really important. You've got that card out before they've named the person. So there's that. Um, there's not a lot I can, more I can tell you about the method. Now, there was a couple of people online that I saw saying, you know, no, not, no many people don't really have magazines anymore. And, and it looks like, you know, it doesn't look very impressive and all that kind of thing. That's the point. You know, people do have magazines. And, and I just said a thing. I think I didn't really think about it. But I said, yeah, I've got to make that. I a, a, a news agent. You had these magazines. He said, do you want them? Because we've got to sell them by the end of the week. And I was like, no, but I do what magicians do. I take useless stuff and I turn it into something magical. And that was enough. And, they, and they, they're buying it, all right? <laughs> they're not kind of going, oh, he's just doing a magician's story. They're totally buying it. And if you think about it, the fact that that is the trick, nobody is going to think that you got from a magic shop a tatty bit of paper that's folded up. People aren't, they're going to be more, they're going to think that more or be more suspicious if it is something that looks really kind of modern and, and together, it, the kind of, the beauty of this is that it's just a tatty magic. You just, you know, you felt like Peter says on the thing, and Craig, yeah, start, put it in your pocket, fold it up. Don't make it really lovely. This is just a bit of paper you've ripped out of a out of a magazine, and it just looks so. I mean, you can, and they can scrutinise it. They've got this. They can't. I mean, obviously, if they really knew what they were looking at, but you know, you feel safe putting this in someone's hands um, and getting them to look at it. You know, and when they've got their number, they've they, maybe they've got you know they've got number number four on the list and you say look at number four on every list there's no it's not a repeating thing is it and they're like no so it's it's got that bit into it i think it's really clever i think it's really easy i think it's well i know because i've done it a few times now it is really powerful and again the baby gag's a good thing but just doing it with that and you can carry it around it's just that you can just have it in your pocket and and perform with it and craig said he does it with other tricks he mixes it with things like 21st century phantom and things like that because obviously you've got that that celebrity you can reveal it however you want so i think there's loads of potential i think it's a really 
it's a really nice thing. The packaging's a bit weird. <laughs> kind of, I saw the packaging and I thought, it looks like, well, actually, someone said to me, it looks like something you get from, <laughs> from an adult shop. And I mean, it kind of does, doesn't it? Um, but that doesn't matter. That's nothing. It's, I mean, it's, it's fine. Alex and Sam are good at their packaging. It's a nice package, but it's, I just thought, when I saw the lips, I just thought it looks a bit, looks a bit saucy. Um, so there you go. It's amazing. That to me made me laugh. So plus points, super practical. Hardly any props, even if you don't do the baby going. It's got one thing. Um, you could even show people, you could arguably show people a photo of the two lists on your phone or, and do all that kind of stuff and use it online in that way. Really organic, and I know, but it is. It's a page up a magazine, and it is genuinely fooling. They were, the, he said to me, you want, I don't know if you hear it on the thing, but I said, would you be impressed if, if I got a picture of the person you've got in your head? And he said something like, I'll ban you for life or something like that because it was so unsure that there's, couldn't be that we've had numbers you don't know about so so uh, so really good no angle problems anything like that and would play super big as well you know this is something you could do on stage you know give the person a magazine or give it to people in the audience and just say right you have a look at it uh, or you two it's two people I will say that you can do it with one person but it kind of works better with two the, the way it works when you do it with one person it's a little bit it doesn't quite play as well so so a couple of people which is a good thing it plays it plays big get two people on stage uh, to get that so really really like it really surprised me I don't really like list tricks usually you know and I said this to Craig I said I don't usually like those kind of tricks because the way you get to me is so contrived but it really doesn't feel contrived and exactly what you see on the download is exactly what you get on the trailer that is the way it's done and what you see on the, uh, the performance that I did uh, and that's done as kind of a, as bad as it gets and it's still got a good response so there you go gossip by Craig Petty um, Alakazam and it feels like an Alakazam trick. It's fun, it's colourful, it's not too serious, and there's so much mileage you can get out of the fact it's celebrities, it's a magazine, it's a whatever. You know, there's because of what it is, it's it's unusual, isn't it? It's a really unusual thing. So I so I mean it's great. Uh, and I've very much enjoyed performing it and I'll do it again. So all the details will be below. Thank you, Alakazam, for sending that to me. It is very much appreciated. And uh, please like, subscribe, check out carbmagiccourse.com and have a great one. Take care.